Hello, Serge here. We're standing on the 18th green at Katarina Golf Club with uh, Leo Von Benneker, our certified club fitter and instructor here, who's stationed at a Katarina Burke Country Club, Golf Club. Let's go. And where is it? In Holland, still. In Holland. Holland. Hasn't moved. It hasn't moved. Okay. Not an inch. And so, uh, we had a good day today. A little breezy and a little bit chilly. As you see, we got jackets on, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this because this late in the year, when it's been 95 degrees or uh, 90s for months and months, I almost start hallucinating about or dreaming about putting even a sweater vest on, never mind a jacket. So this has been great. We had our golf school. We did long game in the morning and we did short game in the afternoon. And we did putting, chipping, pitching, and sand. And everybody did a good job. Basically, it was just like long game. The right fundamentals, grip, stance, posture, alignment, and then the stroke. The setup determines the motion. And like in short game, if you want to chip and pitch the ball low, your legs a little forward. A little higher, you get neutral, and you can actually sit back a little right and get the ball up in the air if you nearly need to pop one up. So we did all those things, and that includes the bunker shots. But today, I've been a golf professional now from, I turned pro in 1973. So it's going to be 40 years Something next like year. Yeah. And I, uh, I've been playing golf since 1961 or something. And I study everything, but today I heard something that just knocked my socks off. We were talking, right, about what was it? Keeping the head still when you're swinging a club as compared to today. If you take a big turn, your head really can't stay still because if you turn your shoulders enough, your head rides on your shoulders, you can't really stay still. And in maintaining your wide knees out with pressure, your spine angle, you stay still. And Patrick dropped, said something that just kind of like, I mean, it's like somebody hit me in the head with a, you know, with a sledgehammer. Tell him what he said. Well, Patrick broke, brought it in upon us that uh, when he used to play, sometimes they would play in the fog. And he found out. And I asked him, I said, you're talking about a fog in your head? Or a fog no, no. outside. No. And he said, that sometimes they could be on a course and a fog would come in just like that. Now, he's from where? Uh, England. England, right. And he, near the ocean, too, I think, right? Yeah. So, just like that, a fog could roll in. So, he says, and, and, and what he said just blew me away. We started talking about trying to figure out why did that happen. What he said to him and his buddies happens he said every time. When he was playing there, and he was playing in the fog, that his, the balls would go straighter, they would find them back right on the fairway where normally when they would play and there was no fog well things could end up very different and so not only could they find them but the point is as he was saying that they found them because they had they they knew where the ball went even though they couldn't see it and i said to him how do you know where the ball went he says we just we just sensed it i said that's the whole key that's what i've been trying to get everybody into is 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 the feeling and sensing things and so when, as soon as the fog came in, to have any chance to keep playing and finding your ball, you set yourself to another level of sensing your, your hands and your, and your body movement and your brain are tied into all of that stuff. As soon as you hit it, since you awaken your mind more, when you hit it, you know it went there and not over there. And that's what it takes to play better golf. And I mean, it's like the same thing. What do they tell you about people who, who, don't, have, who don't have sight? They, their, their sense of smell, touch, feel, enhances. And, and enhances. They can they can hear they can hear better. Even if you're creeping up on them from over there, they they know you're coming. So I guess maybe they can even read waves of the air movement and stuff. And that's what happened in the fog. And I think, and I can remember playing in the dark when I was a little boy. We'd would play out to pitch dark. We'd stand on the ninth tee or the eighteenth hole. We're gonna finish the nine or whatever. And you hit the ball and you just knew where it went. And you couldn't see it once it was 10 feet off the club. And so that's what I think part of golf is, 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 is waking up your mind when you're doing things and swinging a golf club and feeling the movements of your muscles in your body. And I'm, I think I've said it before in these dailies is that when I decide what type of shot I'm going to hit, whether it's a regular shot or not, and I decide it's going to take off at this, at this height and do this, that, when I walk into the ball with all that, you know, that sense, senses in my mind working, I just walk in and I seem to like melt in the right position, then hit the shot. So maybe someday you might want to try hitting a golf ball, and after you hit it, and as you start standing up, close your eyes for a second, and maybe have somebody with you and tell them where the ball went. Well, some based on what you sensed, and see how see how that enhances your sense. What they say, you feel the move, you play the move, 
And if it's a good, good move, remember it. That's right. It's like I say, the practice swing, you feel the swing, then you step up and you swing the feel and test yourself. If you can keep yourself more enhanced, hit the ball, close your eyes as you are start to stand up, then open them up and, and see if the ball is where you think it went. Or have somebody watch it and you say, I hit it right where I want it to go or a little right, a little left and see. That's the whole thing I've always been trying to do is get you all to awaken your senses because what's what is what does it mean when I say swing the field? You gotta feel it. You gotta awaken your mind to feel your muscle, the movement, everything. Sounds involved. That's why I don't think it's I don't think it's wise to hit practice balls with ear with earphones on because you can't hear the divot. Part of hearing the divot and hearing the sound of the impact is bleeding into all of, sure building into all of those senses that's gonna make you more aware of what's happening. And it's all about Feel and, and awakening your senses, like you walk in a room and you can smell the food, you know exactly what it, what the dish is. Well, you want to do that with your golf game. You can sense what you want to do and then you just melt into that setup and you do it. But, shall we say play in the fog? Play in the fog, or play in the dark for that matter. Yep, but I think you're going to well, find that, that, that once you start sensing more and that your brain's running to what your body's doing, you're going to see how you're going to be more aware of what your body's doing and therefore you're going to be more aware whether it's doing what it's supposed to do or not. So done. It's getting time. It's getting dark. We'll play tonight? Yeah, let's go play tonight. Okay, you're on. All right. From, from Leo and Don, see, we'll be talking to you all again soon.